Yes, y'all know y'all see me smiling in the intro. I got my buddy in the building. This hey. is one of my best friends in the world. This woman is so multi-layered. Oh, wow. Man, when it comes down to just pure talent, hustle, business, professionalism, just she just emits wonderfulness. All right, so when I say CB is in the building, CB is in the building. Hey. That's what I call her. You may know her, her as the travel chick. You may know her as Corey. You may know her as Miss Burns Faulkner. You just may know her as the bomb. Let me hit the hype bell for that. She's in the building now. What I want to do is take her down this radio royalty journey because, you know, we dropped our radio royalty podcast. We had our interview. Where we talked about her whole history, her being on billboards as a baby and hanging out with Martin Luther the King and everything. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'll just play. No, I'll just play. I'll just play. But all that to say that you have a, a rich history when it comes to media and relationships and all all of the, those things, you know, go into place. Uh, you've been working in a very competitive industry for a while, and that's usually not the case with people. You know what I mean? And you've been always elevating and reinventing yourself within that industry. But one thing remains the same. You're super dope. Hey, I'll super take Super dope. Super solid. And now that I, I, not now, because we talked about this once before another interview, but you're doing something that's opening up the eyes of people here to a greater space. Um, you, you taking people to Africa, to the motherland. Absolutely. You're letting us share your journeys as you travel, which I appreciate. I watch your post and I feel like I'm in Costa Rica on the beach somewhere. Hey, you know what I mean? 20 plus countries now. Bless Come on now. Let me hit the high bed. You've been to 20 plus countries. Yeah. So we are going to talk about that. But first, I want to talk about this trip that you have coming up and some of these trips you have coming up because you're able to share these experiences with people. So I'm excited about just listening to you. I'm going to one of them. But talk talk to the people about what you have coming up and let's let's see how we can get people involved. And okay. then let's talk about this other stuff, because this is really important. Wow. I mean, at this point now, I've been to Ghana 11 times. I, I mean, I think I can say I'm part Ghanaian at this point. You have dual citizenship. <laughs> I, I mean, why not? <laughs> hey, did y'all hear that? Take right. notes. But seriously, you know, I used to have a rule, Reese, where I only went to one, a location one time. Okay. And then I moved on. I was yeah. like, what's next? What's next? What's next? I'm going to get to all these places, because oh you're the travel chick now. When I say that, I mean the most Listen. respectful way. That's what she refers to herself as. Go travel chick. 20 countries. 20 countries. And you're like, I'm going to just go to one, and I'm I'm gonna go to the next one. I'm gonna go on to You'd have been to Ghana eleven times. Been to Ghana eleven times. It got me stuck, and now I'm getting ready to take my third group to mm. Ghana in September. Okay. So I've already done two very successful group trips. Every time I go, people are like, "I'm going, I'm going, I'm next, I'm next, I'm mm -hmm. next." Um, and then the next thing I know, at least one person out of that group is trying to move to Ghana. Come I'm on, not now. exaggerating. It's not crazy. you moving, it's folks. Addictive. I see 11 it's times addictive. folks moving. Rashida Jones. You know, Ra. Yeah, I know, Ra. Her and her husband, they talk about moving. And they got two little kids. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it is. It's an addictive place. Um, and I think it's addictive because it's so contradictory to what we've seen mm -hmm. and what we've heard on the CNNs and the MSNBCs yeah. of the world. But the next group trip is September. It's the birthday turn up. Okay. Okay, then. <laughs> hey, the Virgo Nation will be in Ghana <laughs> September 1st through the 7th. Mm -hmm. But then I have another trip that's going to cross that one september okay. 6th through the 12th yeah. which is a much deeper journey okay everybody everybody can't do that one okay and then we are going to spend new year's eve in ghana really? december 27th through january 2nd during they call it dirty december dirty december dirty okay december. we gotta we gotta rewind hey. back a little bit so the, the trip in september I don't have to be a Virgo. I can still go. You can still okay. go. Okay. Yeah, but I'm telling you, it's going to be deep Virgo nation. I love September it. 1st through the 7th. It's going to be crazy. Okay. So six days in Ghana. What are we doing in those six days? Actually, it's going to be eight. seven, eight days. Eight okay. Days. Okay. Seven nights. I think that's right. Seven, seven nights. Yeah. Close, close, I got close, you. close. What are we going to be doing? So we are going to, you're going to immediately be immersed into the full food um, there we go. environment. Um, I'm not a foodie. Okay. I am not, but I love the food in Ghana. Gotcha. And I probably eat three times as much in Ghana yeah. as I do here. <laughs> and I come back lighter. That's and that food nother. is different. It's less processed things oh going gosh. into it. Incredible. Um, we're going to take a tour of the city. We're going to find out how Ghana became the first sub-Saharan African country to take their independence. Okay. I, I don't say gain right. because I think that's a misconception. Mm -hmm. They snatched they. Can mm -hmm. I? Yeah. Can I say, okay. Ahead. They snatched 
it back. Right. Because it didn't belong to the British in the first place. It, it didn't belong to the colonizers in the first place. I need so that back. Took they took stuff back. I love that. Right? Right. So we're going to learn about that. We're going to learn about how W.E.B. Du Bois was so engraved into Ghana. Mm. We are going to go to Cape Coast. Okay. Cape Coast is one of the most famous areas in Ghana because it is the place of the door of no return. Mm. Super emotional. Yeah. I've, I've seen grown men mm -hmm. break all the way down yeah. at the door of no return because our folks know that if they went through that door and they got on the ship, um, it was not, highly like they weren't coming they're back. They're not coming they're back. They're not coming right. back. Um, we're going to visit the site of the last bath, mm. another emotional place. Um, we're going to learn about Ghanaian cooking. Mm -hmm. um, we are going to party. Okay. I ain't gonna even say a I little bit. I heard that these parties, <laughs> they go. I had some, I had my, my neighbor back in the day was Mexican, right? I had a Mexican neighbor and they was, the music would start at 6 p.m. <laughs> on Saturday. Yeah. The music would not stop till 7 a.m. Monday. I believe it. But I heard in Ghana, it's, Ten it's, times. It's, oh, it's absolutely. <laughs> so, you know, I'm not even a nightlife person, right. especially in Atlanta, because we've yeah. done that, right? We've done it, yeah. I've been the queen of the nightlife yeah. in, in Atlanta. I can definitely say that. Right. But in Ghana, yo, the youngest person that went with me last year in September was 25. The eldest was 76. Everybody kicked it. Come on now. Everybody kicked it. <laughs> Ghana is just, I mean, it is all the way live. The vibe is so crazy. Um, when you step off the plane and they say Aquaba, which mm -hmm. means welcome, you're going to feel that down yeah. in your spirit, mm -hmm. right? And the first night, oh, I just throw everybody in. I throw everybody <laughs> in feet first um, and, 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 and hope and pray that they make it up the next morning. For the you you blessing them in. <laughs> they might not make it up for the next tour, but they're going to have a time that night. Right, right, right. So up. a lot of other things, you know, I, I don't want to give everything away because mm -hmm. I throw in so much. And yeah. let me tell y'all. There are people out here making a ton of money. My mm -hmm. goal is to get as many people back home as possible. Mm -hmm. it's get as many people back to the continent as yeah. possible. So let me um, just uh, so make make it yeah. So we see these trips on social media and stuff, uh -huh. and they charge an X amount. And I'm not saying nothing against nobody. Right. You're making it so people can actually go, Absolutely. have a good time, and pay their phone bill when they get back. You got it. That's what I'm talking about. You got it. Yeah. That's it. Um, and the tour company is constantly like, you're going to throw that in? You want to do this? Too? Yes, <laughs> yes, I want to do that, too. I want to make sure they can feel as much as they can. But, mm -hmm. you know, that's why I have people who went with me the first time who have already been back. Yeah. That's why I have people who are going with me on the 2.0 mm -hmm. that I talked about September 6th through the 12th. Yeah. And people who are looking for real estate mm -hmm. in Ghana. That is the type of effect that it has on you. I love. Let me hit the hype bell for all of that. I ain't want to break it up at all. Like I love it, man. I, I think that being able to experience something like that is needs to happen. Cause I could I could turn to some of my friends and be like, "Where are you from?" And they say, "Oh, I'm Irish. I'm German. I'm sure. Haitian. I'm African. I don't know where I'm from. I know I probably at some point one of my ancestors came through that that gate or the door of no return. You know Absolutely. what I mean?" And to be able to go back and get a taste of what it is, to get a taste of who you were or who you are, I think that that's, I mean, this is unfathomable from for me. from that area, not the stories that people have told us. Mm -hmm. like, if y'all don't hear nothing else I say today, hear this, mm -hmm. understand this. Our history did not begin with slavery. Mm -hmm. But in school, that's where they pick it up. Yeah. They, they start our history with slavery. Right. Yo, we were and still are kings, queens, Princes and princes, yes, they still exist, mm. but we have so much history before slavery. Yeah, that's the part that continues to amaze me, and I learn something every, new every time I go. That's every amazing, and at all eleven times. All eleven. <laughs> I mean, I that. I already love it. got another one on the books. You got me excited. Like I want, I'm so ready to take this journey and just be a part of it and, and check it out. I've, I've heard my dad talk about it. Pops talk about it for oh, years. Yeah. Like he's like, I've been to the Ivory Coast, Burkina yep. Faso, and these places. He was like, and he is a person that does not get dirty, not get dirty. He said, I realized I was kissing the ground. I was on the ground on my yeah. knees, like kissing the ground. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I was like, Absolutely. that must have been something like you feel it. You definitely feel it. Um, and I tell people all the time, the Caribbean is beautiful. Uh -huh. I love the Caribbean. Yeah. Europe is cool, yeah. you know, to go and do that. But baby, there is nothing. And I mean, nothing <laughs> like Africa. That's what I'm talking Zero about. Zero <laughs> like Africa. Um, and it has literally 
just drew drew me in, mm-hmm. so it sucked me in yeah. to a place where I can't help myself. And I told my son, I, who you know goes yeah. to school out of the country, you will not go anywhere else until you step foot. <laughs> Into the motherland. Your punishment to go to Africa. I needed that type of mothering when I was growing up. You're not doing nothing until you go out of the country to Africa. Okay, mom, that's no problem. I mean, (laughs) just think about it. He's in, you know, Italy now Mm -hmm. because I traded sneakers and video games for experiences. Yeah. More parents need to think about that mm. and be like, oh, well, I can't afford it. Well, if you buying two and three hundred dollar pairs of shoes and you mm. buying a hundred dollar and one hundred and fifty dollar video games and you getting your nails done, you getting your hair done, figure it out. Yeah. You know, it may not be Italy. <clears throat> it may not be Paris. Though. Right. Yeah. But you can definitely do something if you start to set some of those things aside and sacrifice. I love that. Look, listen to the parenting advice. Too. We didn't know we was getting that today, CB. Come on now. I love it, man. Uh, you, you've got an incredible situation going with all this stuff. Like you said, you, you, you're you taking these experiences and then making them your own, but you're sharing them with people. And I think Absolutely. that that's the dopest part. Yeah, you have mm-hmm. to. I mean, you try to keep everything to yourself. How can you receive more? Mm-hmm. You know, if, you, if you're just constantly hoarding all your blessings yeah. um, and you're not giving back, you're not doing something to give back. What in the world are we doing? Are we doing? I feel you. You've got to be you got to be doing that. That's got to be part. of. And speaking of giving back now, you have brung like you just said, you traded in video games, sneakers. But now you are bringing things to Africa. Absolutely. So what, tell me about that, because last oh, year you wow. loaded them up, loaded them them down this year we 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 doing big things over there we are doing huge things and i i mean gotta give you know some credit to you and pops you know on that that first group trip um we went to rafiki village Mm -hmm. which is an orphanage they don't like to call it that Mm -hmm. but before i even tell you about rafiki village let me tell you that from the very first time that i ever went to ghana i was giving yeah and then the second time i gave and then i was able to visit the home of the former president john kafour mm. and i asked him what can i do you know if i'm here yeah. and he basically said get out don't mm. you know he in so many words reese yeah. he said don't just do it for the gram gotcha. you know make sure you out and yeah. you're 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 talking to people and you're you know um getting into the actual you're culture getting into yeah. the culture you're getting uh-huh. in. so i felt after, after that trip i said you know what i can never go without giving because yeah. i feel like i get so much gotcha. so on that trip we went to rafiki village um you and pops blessed us with the jerseys for the kids but that was just um, off of yo you saying supplies. something you want to do we wouldn't have been able to be part of it without yo, your fortitude without your vision these kids were so beyond grateful Mm. and let me tell y'all everybody in africa ain't broke busted disgusted Mm. down in the dumps they have joy talk to them which is something in the states a lot of people do not you know Mm -hmm. realize that they have they have joy right Mm. um Mm -hmm. which is priceless so we were able to do that and then on another trip i was able to go to an autistic school which i really believe is going to be my my cause of choice gotcha. just simply because if you think that it's, it's it's minimalized in the states yeah just imagine what it's like in africa gotcha so um on my last journey i was able to visit um click school for autistic kids mm-hmm. and they have these schools in levels which i love at three levels to what they do i was able to do that um and in september we're going back to rafiki okay. i made a commitment to them that that's my birthday give back i love it and they're i love like, it you can go on your birthday yes, yes. that yeah. The, exactly what I'm going to do. So lots of, t- but there have been times, Reese, where I showed up in Ghana with duffel bags of shoes, mm-hmm. you know, and I may just go to shoe carnival. So I can be anywhere. Yeah. Marshalls, it don't matter. And I'd be like, you know what? Let me pick up some of these. Yeah. Let me pick up some of these. And then before you know it, I got a whole, you know, yeah. box of stuff. And sometimes I just go and I pass out stuff on the streets mm. just because, like I said, I feel like I get so much that I want to give back. back. I love that. Look at that. You could learn something from that right there. That's what I'm talking about, man. So when you take now you're taking these trips and you're taking people with you, right? What do you think one of the main goals you would want for somebody that's visiting Africa for the first time? Um, one of my main goals <clears throat> is to dispel the myths, dispel what they've seen and what they've heard. That's okay. the biggest thing. Yeah. Um, that's not failed me yet. And mm. it's not even something that I necessarily have to have to speak on. And it's not just people um, that are part of the diaspora that are here in the United States. You know, there's a YouTube video up of my recap of my mm-hmm. first journey yeah. my first group journey over two hundred eighty thousand views mm, that's what a, i'm talking about a, 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 viral a, 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 can i hit it yeah go ahead hey. i'm gonna get it twice we're gonna get it twice that's what i'm talking about yeah so I love now it. 
more than 280,000 views mm -hmm. and I get just as many messages from people that are um, on the continent of Africa thanking me wow. as I get people who are saying, how can I go with you? A gotcha. lady went with me in February that didn't know me, mm -hmm. had never met me, right. watched the video and sent me her deposit. She's like, I got to go. Me Sir. They can feel it through those videos. Like he, the absolutely. passion that you put out, not just with Africa, but all the trips, but especially yeah. with Africa because it's a connection there. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. It makes me want to go. You know what I'm saying? Go. You I'm, got I'm we got to go with, so I'm taking you with me. Yeah, I love that, man. CB like I I just I don't have the words to express how grateful I am just as a person that knows you, knowing what you're doing for people. Wow. Yeah, we yeah. need Reese Radio. Yeah. We we need Reese Radio to broadcast in Ghana. I can we set did. that up. Let's do it. I already been to a radio station. Let's go. Let's do it. Now, I think you. that would be amazing. And like you said, just people getting out of their own head of what they think Africa is about. Absolutely. Because like my, like I said, when Pops went, he said, I'm seeing glass hotels. I'm seeing all types of beautiful scenery and cars. And I ain't talking about no safari. I'm talking about in the city. It's Absolutely. different. It's very, very different. Mm. Um, and it's so welcoming. Mm. People are super genuine. Right. Um, and the way of life forces you to slow down. Okay. You know, we live in a microwave society. Yeah. Let's just be honest. Everything is quick, 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 quick. Mm -hmm. I tell people all the time, I do these Zooms before we go to Ghana so I can condition people. I said, don't you dare walk into a restaurant in Ghana and be like, hey, I got 10 minutes. I got to get up out of here. Yeah. They will politely ask you to leave. Mm. Because that's not the lifestyle. It's a different it's way of culture. living. Yeah. It, it, it is. Everything and everybody, you live life the way that it's supposed to be lived. Mm. It takes some stress off you. Add some years yo, to you. Yo, definitely. People are like, oh, you're glowing. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. CB, tell folks how they can get in touch because we need 290,000 views. At the hey, so how, how can hey. they get in touch with you across your platform? Absolutely. Well, first of all, um, on Instagram, I am Go Travel Chick. Mm -hmm. Just like it sounds on Instagram, you can also follow my personal page, Just Coria, J U S T C O R I Y A. Um, I am the same on Facebook, the same on whatever it's called now with the, mm -hmm. with yeah, the, with yeah. the X. X and all. <laughs> um, and that link to that video is in my bio at Go Travel Chick. Um, but if you go on YouTube and you search for Odana Network, mm -hmm. just like it sounds, you will see my. Pretty little picture and all mm -hmm. my 17 people that I, I, I took to um, <laughs> my first group journey to Ghana. But yeah, hit me up on Instagram. That's mm -hmm. that's probably the best way or just Coria at gmail.com. I love that. That's what's up, man. So I'm not going to hold you any longer. I know folks going to ask her how long the flight is. Ask her, I'm not doing that. Follow her. She's going to recap all of that. She's going to tell you all about the trip Absolutely. and you need to go for yourself. I'm going. I need y'all to go to follow her online right now this is my friend i don't say that lightly or take that lightly she is the bomb i'm telling you and she has an amazing situation going on so i appreciate, it. appreciate you blessing us with your presence and your time thank you <laughs> it is all right y'all we're gonna get back to more radio more reach radio of course we broadcast live from media campus west love y'all stay tuned for the next one who you with Reese. Yeah. <laughs>